She's a diamond. She's a diamond girl. She's a diamond. Diamond, diamond, diamond. Hi YouTube, it's Princess Diamond. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing the butterfly braids. These are the four feeding braids with the wispy butterfly effect. This is my first time doing this style so you guys get to see how it comes out. And uh, starting out, I'm just sectioning the hair into two sections by first starting out with the middle part and then splitting up each section in half again to get my four parts or my four sections. And I started out with kind of like pre-parting and um, doing a loose braid down for each of those sections just to be able to see how my parts look because once I do that then I can kind of step back from my client and look at each section and each part and just make sure that it is as straight as possible um, before I actually go into actually doing the feed-in braids this is just preference if you can just part as you go then you don't have to do this step but for me i'm just using this as a guide to see where i put in my parts and as you can see it's not even really perfect because i'm going to go back in and apply my product now so my shine jam and then i'm going to clean up the parts but i know where my part is going to be before i actually start doing the feed and braid so right now i am cleaning up the part and i know with this style you can press it out or flat iron it so for my first time doing this style i opted to go the natural route and not press it or flat iron it so we're going to see how it turns out i know there are a lot of people who don't like to have heat in their hair so i don't want that to be a requirement to get this dial however i do believe it just depends on the client's hair texture and also just how much of like a wispy look you're going for if you want like a really wispy that butterfly effect to it then um for the best result then you'll you'll have to fly iron it but if you're kind of okay with you know something that i'm doing here then this will work my client's hair is not that thick so or not too thick I should say she does have really full hair but it's not too thick to where um, I felt like I had to flat iron it even after doing a blowout so I'm just applying the product now to the part that I'm going to braid and the product that I'm using is the BTL braid gel I've been using this now for a couple days and I really like this gel it's really really nice and and thick and I think it will really suit you know something like this where you want the hair to be nice and sleek especially at the root you know with applying uh, shine and jam or like a gel it's going to be water-based so it's going to kind of curl up the root so i would opt for a really thick gel if you are going to use a braid gel when i was cleaning up my parts though i did just use regular shine and jam just because it's cheaper i mean i when i'm just cleaning my parts i will use something that's a little bit less inexpensive and for the hair that I'm adding, I'm pretty sure I'm just using the Expression Outre pre-stretched braiding hair. And that's another thing. So braiding hair is used, is made, excuse me, to match our natural hair. So if you press, you if you opt to press the hair or um, straighten it, then you want to go for a more straighter hair. So you can use something like human hair when you're adding in the hair rather than just, um, synthetic braiding hair again using a straighter hair or pressing out your hair is going to give you more of a wispy butterfly effect i do plan on doing this style again um, at least one other way to show you guys what it looks like when you press out your hair and like many different things there's multiple different ways that you can achieve something so i want to be able to show you guys just the different results or the different ways you can get this look just by using a different technique so i did a feed and braid just as normal i try to keep her natural hair under the braiding hair reason being is so that way when i come back to pull at the hair and do the butterfly or the wispy effect i'm pulling at the braiding hair mostly rather than her natural hair now it's hard to just you know hide her natural hair throughout the whole feed and braid so some of her natural hair of course is still at the top but like i said i did try to put it at the bottom so that way majority of it majority of the hair that i'm pulling is the braiding hair so then once i kind of get a little bit down 
I went ahead and put a clip and then I started to pull at the braid starting from where I stopped braiding and then going upward you don't you never want to start at the top going down that's not going to work so start at the bottom where you stopped the braid and then work your way slowly up now of course you'll see me kind of go back and forth a couple times but in the beginning I'm definitely starting at the bottom working my way up and then I might go back down and continue to work my way up more and then you're kind of just playing around with it until you get it to the look that you want I would say leave this part up to your client so ask them do they want a really messy wispy look or do they do they want more of a neater but still like butterfly effect watching this video back I seen that my client was kind of falling asleep and that right there tells me that this part was not hurting her and she told me herself that it didn't hurt but I was kind of still a little concerned that I was pulling at her hair too much and like I said now just being able to see it back the fact that she was falling asleep let me know that she was nice and comfortable <laughs> so just make sure you're being careful when you're doing this part um, you don't want to cause too much tension especially when you get there at the top like right there you definitely want to be gentle and make sure you're only grabbing the braiding hair so as you can see I obviously didn't braid it all the way down first I just did it in sections so now I'm going to braid it a little further down now this part I'm just braiding a little bit loose than I normally would be this is going to give the hair a little bit of room to kind of be able to be pulled at so I braided it a little further down and then again I'm working my way back up with just creating the butterfly effect this part will depend on you or your client or whatever but some people kind of stop and they do like the curls at this part or they'll braid it all the way down because some people want the butterfly look and they want their braids down or some people want the bun look so definitely up to you we're doing buns so this part wasn't too wasn't too important i apologize we're having a snowstorm so if you guys hear the wind going crazy right now <laughs> i apologize after a while it started to hurt or got a little difficult for me to pull on the braids using my fingernails so i just started using the end of the rat tail comb to help me with the areas that i really wanted to pull out that wasn't pulling <laughs> that wasn't coming out as well as I wanted but yeah so this is pretty much it like I said um, just continue to just mess around with it until you get your desired look it helps to braid a little bit loose I found that out so that way it's easier to pull at the braids and yeah again this was my very first time doing this style but I had a lot of fun I really love this look and I will definitely be doing this some more. Hopefully I can get another video out to you guys like I had said earlier and show you guys just the different ways that you can do it. I just want to experiment and just see how fun and crazy we can get with this style. But you guys drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you would consider this a protective style. Being that a lot of people are applying heat to this style would you still consider this a protective style and if there is no heat added would you still consider a protective style given the look i don't know if i would consider this a protective style a cute style of course a protective style i don't know i also don't think it's a bad thing to press the hair for this look i think it's just a preference thing but i don't think it should be a requirement if somebody wants to do a style like this but drop some comments down um, below and don't forget to like the video if you did enjoy this video and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos like this and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. I hope you guys be blessed, stay protected, and stay filled with love and peace.